Calliope, where are you? Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure, a figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, and queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. You address the goddess of the underworld. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her. Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband, Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone, I demand to see my daughter. As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. But be warned, Ghost of Sparta. The world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering. Where is she? If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree, and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins, and be granted passage through the Divine Gates. Well, even though I'm closing in on the end, I think I can stomach a little bit more. But Kratos, as you know, everything comes at a cost. Here we go. Through the portal and find the one you seek. Calliope! Father? My child. Why did you go? I am here now, child, and I will not leave you again. I have watched over you pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Serving yourself before the needs of others has always been your flaw. But no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You? As you were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. And Olympus with it. But why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose? I was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own, but no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. Father, what's happening? I'm scared. 
In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. Elysium falls to Kratos. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Father! The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. This is the cost of love. Kratos soon realized that what he gained in humanity, he lost in power. He would need to become the monster he once was if he was to defeat Persephone. Sometimes you have to become the monster to see the truth in things. He would need to become the ghost of Sparta once again if he was to save his child. Come back here. <laughs> I don't know why it was necessary for all the breakneck jokes. Hey, come back here. All them broken necks. He would need to sacrifice his life so that she may live. No! Father, no! <laughs> At that moment, Kratos knew his destiny was not with Calliope. The fates were never that kind. And while we're at it, come on. I mean, fuck it, might as well at this point. <laughs> okay, that works. Wait. All about them neck breakers. Hey, don't think you're over. Hey, fucker. Okay, now I can kick all your asses. I don't think so. You're really pissing me off, you know that. Two, three! You, fuckface, stop it. Anybody else I can break in two? How far do these Elysium fields go? Hmm, not half bad. Screenshot. All right. Where's Calliope, anyways? Yes, I know. Of all the things, I'm curious about when the world is ending. I'm just curious and see if I could talk to her or try and talk to her or something. But I'm 
unfortunately this is the cost of love. In a weird way you have to sometimes sacrifice everything to keep it. In some form or another. Here we go. No, I don't think so. Get rid of these pains in the ass. Oh, okay, those aren't archers. Those are! <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> never learn, do you? I'm just gonna go back and forth here. Anything? Everything? Nothing? Okay, here we go. Come on. Bitch. I'm on a roll. Bitch. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Can he go? <laughs> oh, no way. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping to get 45. Oh, isn't it? If it isn't you, ow. Come on. Keep it going. I can. Oh, I can see a great health chest. Okay. One, two, three! Got it. Hey, you have been a good sir. Now go off and die. Boom shakalaka! I'm hoping this is enough to kill them. At least I got more health out of that. <laughs> bitch. Let it be said again, I fucking hate archers. <laughs> <laughs> Will you guys just leave me alone? You hold no purpose other than to slow down the game at this point. And to be annoying. But no, keep on spawning, waste more time, piss me off. Oh, thank Jiminy Cricket. And on that note, I'm gonna end it here, so peace out for now.